Hello, Marisela. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing pretty well, thanks. How are you? Fine, thanks. It was a good day today. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Why? What made it so good? Um, I'm. I. I was busy all day, so it, I like that. So I, I'm happy for that. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That 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 helps a lot. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 Yeah. And now it's raining. Yeah, yeah, it's been well, it's been raining all day, uh, off and on, right? So it's been like, sometimes raining, then it stops, and then it rains again, yes. and then it stops, and then it rains again. Yes. <laughs> so it, yeah, it's been a little unstable there. Okay. All right, but um, I'm glad you guys are able to connect. I know that right now, there, um, it's, there are some internet issue problems um with some of the servers so i really appreciate you guys uh being able to connect all right guys um say hi to alex as well and josue how are you hi teacher good evening i'm okay good i'm, I'm glad to hear that Josue. I'm, I'm happy that you're okay um and uh, what about Alex? How are you, Alex? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. I'm very nice. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay. Uh, do you have any plans for this weekend, Alex? Uh, maybe go out tomorrow oh. in the evening. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have a... It's a kind of meeting and a kind of, I don't know how to say, basil or something like that. <laughs> basil. Oh, uh, no, como uh, like, well, it's, it's going to be a meeting. Oh, okay. With some friends. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're hanging out with some friends. You're hanging yeah. out. Yeah. We have a lot of, without seeing us. Mm, yeah, well, I can imagine. I can imagine. That's good. Okay. All right. Hello, Alejandra. Yeah, How are you? Hi, teacher. Thanks. Well, I'm fine. Yeah? Doing, yeah, doing homework of the university. Oh, still, huh? But, and at the same time in the class. But the, but this week you haven't, you haven't gone to class. You haven't had yeah that's what i thought <laughs> but it was not like that way we, so we have some have, tasks so you had some classes yeah oh well the of different teachers uh-huh the, mo oh, the yeah. most the uh, most take the like the they didn't the uh, class with us but uh like one or i think that two teachers uh -huh. give us gave us class oh okay and and homework <laughs> yeah i'm homework for sure <laughs> yeah okay all right do you have any plans for the weekend other than Sorry? Do homework <laughs> do you have plans for Sorry. the weekend? um no i think no maybe yeah and out with our friends with my friends oh, okay and okay sunday i think i hope okay good good it's nice to be able to yeah. do something a little bit different on the weekend right just got to be careful yeah. be um be try to be safe right because remember this this um virus is not uh is not gone right we still have yeah you know this this is still something that's going on it's and it's real and we got to take care of ourselves right so just be very careful about that but um but yeah it's very important yeah, to, you know have some fun and something different on the weekend yeah 
Anybody doing something special on the weekend? No? No, not at all? Okay. All right, guys. No. Uh, yeah? No, nothing. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were going to just say something something different that you were gonna you were uh, gonna do this weekend. Okay. All right guys. Well um today is our last class together uh for this um this module. Uh I want to know if there are any problems, anything I can help you with. Um, I just had a question yeah. about the final exam in the in the in the section B of the final exam, the requests in the three sentence. I don't know, but I had the the idea of how can I complete the sentence. I tried, and I make my effort, my best effort but I don't understand what is wrong. Okay, so this, what, what section did you say was? And the request, the section B in the, in the final exam. Section D in the final exam. Section B. B, B or D? B. Okay, all right, so let's take a look first of all at the, let me see if I can open it up here. Just just uh, bear with me because, you know, the internet connections right now are not that stable, but uh, just be, let's see if we can get it open. Anybody else having problems with uh, any parts of the of the um, platform? Something I can help you with? So now's the moment to ask if you guys have any questions, anything you need me to work uh, work with you on it. Um, you can go ahead and ask me. Really? Nothing at all? No. Okay. No, teacher. All right, let's see if there's someone to open up the final exam for me. I don't know why. Ah, okay, hold on. Section B requests. Okay, uh, is it all of the exercises from section B or one in particular? Uh, yeah, the number three, just the number three. Number three of section B. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can take a look at it and see if I can figure out what's the problem. No, it's not a problem. Just I want to know how to answer well the 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 sentence. Okay, so um, so you just simply don't know how to do it. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. I was a uh, like thinking all the possible answers but no one is correct. So I would like to know how is the, the good answer. 
I I have finished the 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 final exam, but this one I I couldn't answer well. And I would like to know the the, the correct answer just to, to know, right? Your mic teacher, we can hear you. We cannot hear you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, all right. So in number three, it says here, um, I'm going to write it um, in the chat actually. I'll be easier if I write it in the chat. So there is number three. It says, you want to borrow a stranger's newspaper when he's finished reading it. And then it says, I was wondering if you mind, blah, 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 right? You have to complete the last part after mind. Now, Which one is that? That is number three in the final exam. Okay. Section B about requests. Okay. Okay. So um, now, if you guys remember, when you are making a request, after using, uh, I was wondering if you'd mind, after you'd mind, we're going to always use a gerund. Yeah. Okay? And then yeah. I had put lending me your newspaper. Yeah, and that's when important. you're finished. Uh huh. Exactly. Be careful. When you're finished reading it. Mm, okay. Uh -huh, sure. I see. I see what what the 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 only reason why you got it wrong. Yeah. Um, okay. First of all, you have to remember that you're not going to use the verb borrow. Why? Because you guys remember what is the difference between borrow and lend? Yeah. So what's the difference, Alejandra? Um, okay, the for me the difference is that lend is that I I'm going to lend something to someone and borrow is uh, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Where is borrow? Well, for me, um, can I um, say something? Sorry, I, I didn't catch that. Could you repeat that? Can I say something? Yeah, go ahead, Rafael. Okay, for me, borrow. Mm -hmm. It, it, you use borrow when you want somebody else mm -hmm. to lend something to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you use lend when you are going to lend something to somebody else. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I don't know if it's correct. Right. Okay. Good. You yeah. have the idea. You have the idea. Uh, just to, and to make it sim in simple terms. In simple terms, borrow is to to borrow means to ask for a um, for an object.
Oops, I don't know why I put object in parentheses. Forget it. <laughs> it's not. Okay, so to borrow is to ask for an object. And to lend is to, let's say, to ask somebody, let's say, to ask somebody. an object and to lend is to give somebody an object. There you go. Okay, so that's pretty much the difference, right? So in Spanish, you only have one verb, which is prestar, right? But in English, we have two verbs and you just have to be careful uh, which one you're using. Both are valid, but it just depends on who is doing the action, right? So for example, um, if, if I want money, if I need money from, like I, I want my friend uh, to give me money, I can say that I borrow money, which means that I, I ask my friend to give me money. And I can also say that my friend lends me money which means that they are giving it to me, okay? So it really depends on who's doing the action. That's what's really important here, okay? Does that make sense? So in case yeah. you guys are wondering, yeah, that's what the difference is, okay? Yeah. All right, good. All right, so going back to the, to the, um, the sentence there, Uh, it says, you want to borrow a stranger's newspaper when he's finished reading it. So you are the one who's going to ask for it. But the other person is going to give you the newspaper. So when you say, I was wondering if you'd, if you're talking about you, you are the one who's going to give it to me. Therefore, the verb would not be borrow. The verb would be lend. Okay. So in this case, we're going to put lend in the ing form. Why? Because after, um, I was wondering if you'd mind, after you'd mind, we're going to use the gerund. So, um, Alejandra, were you the one that was asking me about it? I just, I, I forgot right now. Who was asking me about this, this question? Sorry? Who, who was asking yeah, me? Yes, that was Alejandra. Yes, Alejandra. Yeah. Okay, good, okay. Sorry, yeah, I, I, I was just, asking about <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I have so many things on my mind right now that I, I blanked out. Okay, so oh, Alejandra, um, mm -hmm. what your answer, you, what was your answer originally? Uh, I was wondering if you mind lend me, lending me the news, your newspaper when you I finished reading it. And Alejandra, your answer was fine. Your answer was correct. The only thing why the platform was marking it as incorrect was simply because uh, in the answers that, um, that were possible to accept, it did not include, include the part that you put at the end where, the, where you said after you're finished reading it. So if you would have just put would you mind lending me your newspaper, period, then it would have been okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I will it's, try. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it's not, uh, you know, it's simply that the platform uh, accepts certain answers uh. that they have given, uh, that they have, they have, that's what's the word, they have programmed. Uh, the the platform to accept certain answers. And if you don't write it exactly the way they have programmed it, then it will put it as wrong. So if you just simply cut the last part out, it'll be okay. Does that, make, does that answer your question? Yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's correct, but I thought that must be the, the long answer. 
because in the previous like knowledge check, you have to 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 write all the sentence complete. Yeah, I, I feel that in this case it will be the same. But okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, to be honest, I would have done the same thing if I, you know, if I had been on your like on your shoes, I probably would have written the whole thing too. So it's okay, you know. It, it's okay. I, I understand. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't okay. think in include the the sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, I, I probably would have done the same thing as you did. So it's yeah, it's understandable. Okay. Understandable. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Anything else that you would like me to work to look at during for the midterm? Sorry, the the final exam. questions or not just about the midterm, sorry, I don't know why I'm calling it a midterm, the final exam. So not just about the final exam, but any other things on any other section. Um, I just wanna make sure that you guys understand why you're getting the answers wrong. I wanna make sure that everybody has at least 80% or more, right? If you're not getting 80% or more, please ask the questions here so we can help you and you are able to complete the sentences correctly. So anything that you don't understand why? So, so far so good? Okay. All right, good. So in that case, guys, what we're going to do for the remaining of the class, we are going to be practicing uh, talking about expectations. Yesterday, uh, we talked a little bit about expectations, and we saw the structure that is necessary to talk about expectations. Um, the structure, basically using the if or when clause, and after that, after using the if or when clause, we would use um, the other clause, or, or which is separated with a comma. Okay, so don't forget to separate with a comma. And then after that, we would have the subject um, plus the um, the part where you say, for example, um, is expected to, is are supposed to, the verb to be, and then the verb expect to supposed to, um, what was the other one? Expected to, supposed to, yeah, with this one, with the, or you can also use the it. So um, it is, um, is it, it's a, it is acceptable, um, it is, um, what was the other one? It is expected, no, sorry, is acceptable, or it is not acceptable too, right? It could be negative as well, okay? Um, and so on. And then after that, we would use um, the verb and the complement, right? Okay, so what I want you to do right now, I want you to think about uh, what are the situations in El Salvador, okay? Think about if you were going to explain to somebody that uh, that comes to El Salvador for the first time, they are a tourist in, in, in El Salvador and they don't know what, to ex what are the expectations here in El Salvador, what expectations uh, would you tell them about? What are you they expected to do in El Salvador, okay? To give you an example, um, I'll just give you uh, just just uh, as an example. Uh, when when you go to a pupuseria, it's acceptable. It is acceptable to eat with your hands, right? In El Salvador, it's okay. Right, it's acceptable 
to eat with your hands when you are at a pupuseria. Yeah? Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So I want you to think about all of the yeah. different things that you would recommend a person that is coming to El Salvador for the first time and you want to tell them, you want to give them the heads up about what are the expectations here in, in El Salvador. Do you understand what I mean, heads up? Could you oh. write it, please? Oh. Yeah, please. You want me to write it? Yeah. Yeah, I can oh. write it, no problem. <clears throat> this is an expression, the heads up. It's, an, heads it's up. a very common expression. Oh, I don't know. No idea what heads up are? No. No. Okay, to give a heads up um, means to tell somebody ahead of time with anticipation uh, about something, like warn them about something. Yeah? Does that make sense? For example, teacher? Sorry? For example, could you set an example? Um, okay. It, it basically, what it, what it means, okay. I'm just actually gonna write it here, down here, what it means. Okay. Um, so it means to let someone know about a situation before they encounter it. Okay. Uh, it's like to inform the person about a situation uh, so that they know with time. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Can you repeat, think, yeah. please, teacher? Okay. I so, can hear you. Yeah, no problem. I can, I, yeah, I can repeat that. It, it means to let somebody know, to inform a person about a situation before it happens. Okay? Yes or okay. no? Okay, yeah? yes. Okay. Uh, to, to give an example, I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, at the very first day of this class, if you guys remember, there were some people that told me, okay, uh, this is the first time I'm here with um, English Corporativo, so I do not know how the platform works. So I was explaining a little bit about the platform and I warned you and I said, okay, you have to be careful with the platform because it's very sensitive with uh, punctuation, spelling. Um, so you you have to be careful that you spell the word correctly, that you're putting the period, that you don't have extra spaces, that you're putting the question mark, et cetera, et cetera. So that I gave you a heads up about the situation. So okay. in other words, I was telling you, letting informing you before you started working on the platform. So when you were doing it, you already had the information you needed. Yeah, it's like, it's like saying in Spanish, like uh, informar a alguien con anticipación. Okay. Or, or Teacher, in, it's like a uh, warning. It's kind warning of like about a warning, something. kind of like a warning. But a warning is for something that is bad. 
right? Whereas okay. giving a heads up is not necessarily something bad. It could be something about um, just letting the person know about a situation before before it happens. Okay, like for uh, example, it could be maybe. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. It uh -huh. could be maybe an advice or like an something advice. like that. Advertisement, right? To give, I'll, I'll give you an okay. example. I'll give you an example. Um, you <coughs> say to the, okay, you you maybe you're planning a you planning a birthday, or you're party you're planning a surprise party for a friend, and you say to another friend, "Don't tell the person because they don't know anything about it. It's a surprise." So you're you're letting them know ahead of time. So that your so the person doesn't um, doesn't make the mistake of talking about the party in front of the other person. So you're letting them know ahead of time. You're informing them about the situation. Yeah, does that make sense? Yes. Yes, it's yes. like an advertisement, right? Sorry. But um, it's like an advertisement. No, advertisement is like, like a, like marketing. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's like to be aware of something. Uh -huh, exactly. Letting someone know so they're aware about something. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like said, it's almost like, like dar un sobreaviso. Okay. Does that make sense? <coughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. So yes. going back to our topic, I want you to think about what, what things would you tell a tourist that comes to El Salvador about the things that are expected in El Salvador so they have a heads up about the situation before they come to El Salvador. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? OK. So I'm going to get you guys yeah. to work right now in groups. Let me see how many people there are. I have right now 11 people. OK. So I'll get you guys to work in groups of three or four. Um, and you can make a list of things. And I'm going to give you about. Mm, 12, 13 minutes to work on the list and then you're going to be sharing it with the class. Okay, Maybe about 15 minutes. I'll give you 15 minutes to work on it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me create the groups there. <coughs> so, so everybody's clear on what we're going to be doing? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Go ahead now and join your groups. Swear, are you having any problems? Say, are you having problems to join your group? Yeah. <laughs> if you go to the Ixal, Ixalco, 
yeah. you're supposed to check or visit the place of brujerias. I don't know how oh to say God. it. Witches? <laughs> yeah. Witches, I imagine, or oh, I don't know. Yeah, witch. The teacher told us that. It's, it's famous. Know. It's famous for that. Yeah, for witches. For witch. So. Wow, those are very interesting. <laughs> 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 okay. But remember, remember the, the idea is to talk about expectations, right? Just like we learned uh, yesterday. Okay. 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 Okay, when somebody invites you um, you to to go to the circle, well, uh, you should, uh, or it's be the custom to, I don't know, really in Salco, I, I never have been in, in Salco. <laughs> no, today is very calm. Germany. Really? Yeah. It's a common. Well, yeah. Um, I'm going to. I'm, I'm writing one in the chat. I don't know okay. if you can see it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that would be something that I that I would recommend somebody else if they plan to come to El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> you are okay. not expected to be alone anywhere you could be stolen it depends it depends just just be careful with that um, okay. where you say first of all you got to make sure you use the if or when clause okay so uh, yeah blah, blah, blah. if blah 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 right and then you then the second part to say you are not expected uh although i don't i i have a little conflict with that that verb um i wouldn't say that you're not expected that would okay. like literally in spanish it would be like saying tu no eh, no se espera que tu blah 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 right okay um which i don't know if that makes so much sense I would probably use uh, more like, um, let me see. Um, <coughs> maybe it, it's not, it's not acceptable or um, something like that. And, and the other thing is that uh, you could be stolen. Uh, it would be like literally saying, te podrían robar. Like, but, like you like being, uh, a ti te van a robar, o sea. Which is more like the idea you want to say is not that, that somebody steals, not that somebody kidnaps you, but somebody, so. How, how would it be? So I want to say that somebody else can call, can steal to you. Uh, you would probably say, um, somebody can steal from you. Okay, somebody can. Okay. Okay. But remember, we're talking here uh -huh. about expectation. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So go ahead, continue guys working and I'll come if you guys need any help, I'll come back. Okay. You can okay. Go. Okay. Okay. So guys, let's think something. They are expect to uh, eat or give you pupusa. Oh, that eat pupusa. I don't know. Right, teacher? Something like that? 
Yeah, um, you are expected to eat pupusas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could work. But remember, you have to make sure you use the if clause or the when, the when clause. Yes, when somebody invites you to the house in El Salvador, uh -huh. um, they are expected to um, eat pupusas. Okay, you are expected to eat pupusas. Okay, all right. Yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So come up with other ones. What other ones can you use? Teacher, we say a lot of sentence. Really? <laughs> Alex, okay. Claudia, Josue. And did you write those down? Because they're going to be sharing with the class. Um, you have to share them. So you have to write them down. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Um, we were talking about that when you go to El Salvador, it's normal to to see some dogs in the street. What did you? What What are you gonna see in the street? Excuse me. What did dogs. you see? Some dogs. Oh, dogs. Okay. I yeah, know. that's something bad, but it's yes. it's true. <laughs> okay, yes, it's true. I I for some reason I heard the word ghost. <laughs> and I said, oh, ghost, <laughs> maybe in like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, good, good, excellent, yeah, okay, good. Continue working, yeah. For just come, um, pretend I'm not here. Just continue talking. <laughs> okay. Okay, teacher. Um. And what else? You aren't sleepy today, uh, Maricela. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... I forget all the words in English every time. <laughs> oh, really? It yes. happens to me sometimes. No, no, I don't know, but... Um, Me, yes. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's the fault of practice. Sometimes I forget some words because yes. I don't practice. So that's the problem. Yes. try try to not to try not not try not to to visit places alone always in uh, yeah always with with um, with other people at least four or six six people like an excursion yeah I think. Yeah, you need whatever, to be whatever place be. that they have they have planning they have planning to visit. Yeah, and when you want to go out or to know some place different, you yeah. must to go with someone that knows the place because yes. you don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like a guide. Hey, right. uh, what about your opinion? Dennis. Yes, completely. Um... Hello, Dennis. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. 
Can you hear me? Okay. What do you think about it? Yes, it's uh, it's a very good expectation about the visitor, right? Not okay. to walk alone. Yeah. All right. Any what other? Else? Any other? Okay, I was thinking about uh, when someone visits El Salvador, it's acceptable to offer one or one one. I don't think um, one of the national drink. Let's say it like that, like uh, horchata. Ah. Oh. Yes, try to 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 be, um, traditional beverage that uh -huh. the Salvadorian people that the Salvadorian people enjoying a, a lot. We used to uh, offer them, right? Yes, yes, this is that. Yeah, yes, got good mm -hmm. expectation and a good recommendation too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or tacha, or chata, rayan, rayan. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Something like that. Chuco, atol chuco. Yeah. <laughs> Other like traditional dishes, right? Traditional or meal. Dishes. So yeah. could, could I hear the sentences, guys? How would you talk about the expectation? Yes, teacher. Uh, all of us say it and at least two sentences about the, the expectation. Okay, could you could you could you give me one? Okay, mine is uh, for example if when when the person comes to El Salvador is uh, is acceptable to is not acceptable. Uh, uh, Visit uh, visit dangerous places like uh, La Campanera in Soyapango. Okay. Good. Or, or it's not it's not acceptable or it's not allowed. Um. No, because we're not because, we're because, talking about because, expectations, and to talk about expectations, the, you need to it's be not acceptable. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Because the security in that place is. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Me? Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Good. Okay. Another one. Okay. Um. My um, partners. My coworker. Yeah. Alejandra. When someone. Yeah, yeah. When I said before that when someone comes to El Salvador, uh they not supposed to be in sent in the center of San Salvador alone in the night. Mm. Okay, excellent. All right, guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Because we're going to be presenting with the rest of the class, okay? So I'm okay. Going to, we're going to be returning in a moment, okay, to the session. I'll, I'll call you back, okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, guys, thank you for chatting with me. Okay, guys, so let's share. 
Let's share. Let's see if you guys have the same idea, something different. Um, okay, so we'll start with group number one. In group number one, we had Alex, Claudia, Josue, and Maricela. So let's hear you guys. Tell me a little bit about what are the expectations in El Salvador. Well, um, we were talking about that when you go to El Salvador, specifically in the downtown, it's normal that the people offer you things. Sorry, could you repeat that? Yeah, sure. Uh, we were talking about that when you go to El Salvador, specifically in the downtown, it's normal that the people offer you things. Okay, that's true, that's true. So what are the expectations then? It's normal, the so what would you say? Uh, well, the expectation is that you will gonna, uh, well, that you are gonna buy things, maybe unnecessary things. <laughs> okay, that's true, but remember we have to use and in the form of the expectation. So remember we used, um, it's the custom to, it's not, it's acceptable to, you're expected to, you're supposed to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want you to use those. Can I, uh, may I say something? Or? Uh, okay, just. Just give it, give a chance right now. We're in with group number one. Oh, okay. Okay. So when it's, when it's your group number two chance, you can go ahead and, and, okay. and tell us. Okay. okay. So right now, number one, I want you, I want to hear group number one. Well, the expectation could be that the people offer you things. Or I don't know how to say. <laughs> okay, so that's the situation. When people offer you things in downtown, for example, or on the street, what happens? What is it? What is the expectation? Uh, that the people are helpfully and tells you something like, "Can I get chelito?" and that. <laughs> That's the expectation that the people is okay. helpfully. So or... the, expectation is, the expectation then is? Uh, that the people is helpful. Okay, but, but remember, you have to use the structure that we talked about. It's the custom. Oh, right, right. You are supposed to, uh, right. you're expected to, it's acceptable to, blah, 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 blah. Well, uh, so when you go to El Salvador, uh, you have uh, the expectation is that the people is no no, helpful. no, 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 it's you don't say the expectation is. Remember, you have to stick to I'll, I'll, I'm going to help you out here. So, when people offer you things on the street, it's expected, or um, you are expected to, or they are expected to. Okay, so try that again. Uh, well, I, I don't know. When you go to El Salvador, uh, the people offer you things, right? So the expectation, or I don't have to say the expectation. Okay, no. I'm actually no. gonna write it. <laughs> I'm gonna write it in the chat. Okay. What you you have to okay, please the, the form. Okay. Or the so structure. When um well, okay, so I'll give you an example. Okay, so when uh you go to the streets of El Salvador, you are um Robert said uh people are i'll give you an example people are expected 
to offer you something to buy. Okay, that's an example. When you go to the streets of El Salvador, people are expected to offer you something to buy. Okay, or for example, if you go downtown, you are supposed, you're supposed to, oh no, maybe, it, for example, if you go downtown, you are, um, or it's, say, it's acceptable to ask for a, um, what's the word? Oh, my goodness. I, I, I lost the word, it's at the tip of my tongue. Um, you expect to bargain. You're expected to, okay, you can, it's acceptable to bargain. Uh, for, you buy something. This is another example. If you go downtown, it's acceptable to bargain when you uh, when you buy something. Okay, you understand the word bargain? Bargain is reapiar. Okay. Okay, and I think I forgot. Acceptable. I, I should have spelled it to double C. There's a spelling mistake there, but yeah, it's acceptable to bargain when you buy something. Does that make sense, Alex? Yeah, yeah, teacher. Thank okay. you. So it is okay if I say something like, when you go to El Salvador, people are expected to go to the beaches. Yeah. Oh, okay, I got it. Thank yeah, you. That's good, excellent. Okay. okay, anybody else from group number one? Something you wanna share? Yes. Okay, go ahead, Claudia. Um, when you go to El Salvador and if you are going to eat pupusas, it is not the custom to eat them with cutlery. Good. It's not the custom to eat them with cutlery. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent, Claudia. Good. Anybody else? From group number one? Okay, let's do, let's move to group number two then. Josue, you wanted to say something from... Okay, teacher. Huh? For example, when tourists go to El Salvador, people are expected visit the the center historico to see the monuments okay the okay so to visit the historical downtown mm -hmm. very good excellent all right very good okay let's continue with group number two Rafael, you wanted to say something, right? Oh, is my group now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Sorry. Is we Ryan. don't know. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. know. That's oh, the same okay. teacher. Group number two is the like whenever I, I send you to the <laughs> to the breakout rooms, it says to join group one or group two or group three or whatever. Oh, okay. But yeah, group two is Diana, Juan Manuel, Luis, and Rafael. Okay, go for it. Okay. What I wanted to say is, if you're going to go to El Salvador for this time, somebody somebody else is supposed to go to pick you up. I don't know if this is correct. OK, yeah, that's good. Excellent. Very good, okay. Rafael. Another one? Group number two? 
Come on, guys. <laughs> so Diana, Juan Luis. Okay. If you visit Olocuilta, you're supposed to eat pupusas. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, very good. Uh -huh. Very, very good. Okay. Luisa, I, I saw that you wanted to say something. Luisa, Luisa Mesa. Okay. Uh, when you visit El Salvador, uh, you are supposed to see um, pupuserias in any corner. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anybody else? Okay, group number three, Alejandra, Dennis, and uh, Luis Enrique. No, okay, I have one. Okay. Um, when someone's come to El Salvador, mm -hmm. they are not supposed to be in a historic center alone at the night. Oh yeah, no, that's not a good idea. You're right. Okay, yeah. good, excellent. Very good, Alejandra. Okay, any others? Okay, uh, when someone visit us, or visit El Salvador, we are supposed to take them to a good place. For example, Los Planes, or uh, up to, to the volcano, any oh, lake. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Very good, very good, Tennis. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, this is for English citizen okay. when they when they visit in El Salvador, for example, uh, if some one of your friend in El Salvador invite you to have a party, it's not acceptable to arrive on time because the English citizen is the opposite. They they very punctual. Okay, all right, <laughs> interesting. Okay. Yeah, so it, yeah, it, it changes from, from place to place, right? But this okay. just shows you that um, every country has its own expectations, right? And you gotta, depending on where you are, you have to adapt, right? So if you're going to be going to another country to visit, make sure you know what are the expectations from that place, okay? Okay, okay guys, well, um, it's time. We have uh, finished there our class. And I think you guys understand expectations well. Uh, and I, um, anybody that, um, that does not believe they will finish the platform today, you, if you, you still have like, you have less than two hours right now to finish the platform. So I'm going to let you guys go so that you can finish off the platform if you haven't done that yet. Um, and other than that, uh, it's been a pleasure to be able to be with you in this, um, in this module. And I hope you all the best for the next module, okay? Uh, tentative beginning is for Wednesday, uh, November the 11th, okay? That's the tentative um, date, okay? Any questions? No, teacher, only to say thanks for everything you have taught us because uh, it has been very interesting to be here. And there are always um, some topics that even though if you are, or if you have already seen it, but it's, it's very important because you always learn something new, right? And I can say that I've learned something new for you. Thanks. Okay, well, I really am happy that I, I could help you, Rafael. I'm happy. That's that's my, my purpose, right? To be able to share a little bit of my knowledge with you so that you can, it can help you. So I'm, I'm happy that you are have been able to learn something here. Yeah. Great. 
Okay, well, guys, um, it's been great to have you guys. And like I said, I hope all the best for, for the, the next course. And I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Uh, it seems gonna, it sounds, it sounds like it's going to be a rainy weekend, but you know, enjoy it as much as you can. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you teacher, Thank you. for everything. You have for everything. a nice weekend. Thank you, you for all, bye. teacher. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> all right. Bye, bye. See you guys. Bye. See you. Bye. Take care. Bye, bye everyone. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.